guys this is animal and uh, this is gonna be a little bit like my Redrake's Claymore review it's gonna be a fast one um, yeah the normal state weapon is not that great uh, for a gun that you have to grind so much hours to get, the normal state weapon, the, that archetype is just not viable right now for Crucible. Once you get Desperado, like you just saw there, you can get some things rolling. The thing that I find stupid is one of the strongest gun, most OP weapon in the entire Crucible right now is the Graviton Lance. And the Graviton Lens is unlockable by just completing a normal mission. A normal, simple story mission. That's it. <laughs> and this gun here demands that you get to rank 3 in competitive against a meta where it's super highly strong on Vigilance Wings, uh, Last Hopes, Graviton Lens, Antiope, name it, Grenade Launchers, Arch Strider and the warm husk helmet on the hunters i'll be making a video an opinion video about that helmet soon so yeah so right now in the current meta and state of the game is it really really that great of a weapon to grind that much to get because you have to reach 2100 points in glory so that's a lot of points to grind if you're a Beast, and I mean a absolute monster in Crucible. That's all you do all day. You can get it as fast as probably other players can get it. But for me, it took me about nine days, I think. Nine days of committed, just playing competitive. That's it. That's all. Nothing else. Didn't even play on the other characters. Just play on your main character. Just grind, grind, grind. Get the wins. Uh, it took me about nine days. So it's a lot of work, uh, a lot of play time, a lot of organization with your teammates and this and that. Because playing solo and competitive is just n a no-no until they put some kind of a protection for you in the game that once you log in, uh, try to matchmate against single players. If there's no protection like that in the game, it's not even worth for you to go in by yourself. Because it's going to be a destruction for the other team. And they're just going to ran you over because of communication and this and that. So you can still go against teams though that are just solo players. And they're going to be super good though. So you have to be careful. But what all of what I'm saying is. Is this gun the go-to weapon if you grind all this time in the crucible you play and play and play hours on end of absolute sweaty stuff and this is the reward you get a pulse rifle where the normal state pulse rifle that archetype is complete shit in this game right now once you get this Barado though it's a completely utter beast though completely utter beast it's not even comparable it's not even comparable. That's that's a super good gun. The recoil is a little bit crazy though, but if you get a couple mods, it's it's sustainable, you know, it's you, you can get used to it. But Graviton, all in all, is just a better pulse rifle, all in all. Vigilance, the same. Even the trials one is still, I think, better than this gun. Because if you play in this crucible, in this in this state of this crucible right now, you have to have a weapon that's viable, usable every second of the game. And Graviton just gives you that. Vigilance gives you that. Even the Trials Pulse Rifle gives you that. But this gun, you have to get a headshot, reload, and then it becomes viable. And in this current state where hunters literally rush you with last hopes, and if you have them dead, oh, insta shade step, insta full health and full armor back again, you're just gonna get mowed down. You can't compete with it close range or mid range in its normal state. On Desperado though, you can hip fire that shit and just destroy people if they get close to you. But, you know, you have to have Desperado. So if the normal state weapon would get 
a buff like that archetype of pulse rifle would get a damage increase or something like that yes maybe then it would be viable so is it worth the grind when you can get the strongest weapon in the entire game by just completing a normal story mission that you'll have to go through to complete the campaign and they give you an exotic these these exotics needs to stop being given at the end of campaigns it's stupid. Just give out legendaries with higher life so they can rank up their life. Don't give out exotics. I'm gonna be making a video about this, explaining my thoughts on just giving away exotics left and right, like the Warm Husk, the Graviton, and many more. Uh, Graviton is easily the strongest weapon in the Crucible right now. If you look at Trials Report, it's the number one weapon being used for the, like, the second month in a row since it's buff. It is overly strong. Nothing competes with it pretty much except Vigilance Wing. And if you're close, up and close, really close with Last Hope and Antiope, maybe then. But else than that, it will mow you down. It will destroy you. So my question to you guys, write in the comment. Answer me in the comment. Do you think it's worth grinding 2100 points in glory against sweaty teams non-stop with this current state of the meta for a pulse rifle that you have to pretty much proc the perk for it to be even usable in crucible or you can just complete a story mission and get the strongest weapon all, of, all in all around in the crucible let me know what you guys think my opinion it's more of a trophy than anything else I'm happy that I unlocked it. I'm happy that I'm closing in on rank 4. Because I love playing competitive. I love playing competitive with my friends and all that kind of stuff. And unlocking stuff. It's like trophies pretty much when you think about it. Ricky Bobby, my friend, said it pretty much properly. It's, it's more of a trophy than anything else. So, that's pretty much my thoughts. It's, it's not that great. If you're going for it, go for it because it's going to be taken out probably in the next DLC. It's going to probably have a new weapon. Um, but yeah, the next weapon needs to be something stronger all around, period. Not only if you proc a perk, it needs to be good. If you're if you're going to make, Bungie, if you're going to make your players grind the game and play non-stop for weeks on end to get a weapon, it needs to be strong as F more than a weapon that you're just gonna literally give out at the end of a story mission the same for trials weapons the same for raid weapons those two and the competitive market and the nightfall weapons need to be top tier weapons better than better devils better than old-fashioned better than graviton vigilance and name it nice little firebolt action there but it needs to be stronger than any other weapons in the game if you're gonna make players really play and grind for it but that's my thoughts pretty much so at the end of the day it's still a decent weapon but not really an incredible weapon i hope that you guys enjoyed this video leave a comment down below leave me your thoughts because this needs to be shared as much as possible for bungie to see these kinds of videos helps me out also i hope you guys have a wonderful day and i will see you guys on the next video Pizza. What can stop you? Fight together. Nothing.